Today we're talking about sexism. Hmm. Black Working Mother. That means it's Wednesday. Yay. I've got Nancy with me and I'm really excited that she joins us for this. I got an email from this woman. I don't know who she is, but she just said, I'm contacting you. I know it's out of the blue, but I need to rant. Uh, she said she was in a meeting and she suggested something. She had a great idea. She'd, you know, done a lot of work around it, but they dismissed it. Mm. Then later, a male colleague, you know, presented the same idea and everyone thought it was brilliant and she said she was so angry she was furious as she wrote this email to me and said I'm sure you've probably encountered something like this how have you dealt with it and I, I didn't quite know what to say to her because the truth is it does happen a lot doesn't it so her idea was bogus until it was rubber stamped by a man Whew, that's heavy <laughs> I don't even know what advice I would give for that except to say that I've had similar situations where you walk into a meeting and I'm with my colleague and obviously, obviously I'm his boss and the person we're meeting automatically assumes that he's my boss and not the other way That's around. Happened, the exact same thing has happened to me. And the only thing I can tell you is that I laughed it off. Mm. However, in the case of the lady who wrote the letter, I read a book called Nice Girls Don't Get the Corner Office and it changed my life. It also changed my attitude and I'm not even exaggerating when I say that. If you can find it, do find it. But what this book said is women are naturally taught to be the nice one, to be the calm type, to accept the status quo. And I think that comes culturally as well as through social conditioning. Case in point, you raise a boy, you raise a girl. What do you tell the boy? A oh, boy's a boisterous, go out there, be adventurous. What do you tell the girl? Don't make, it, don't make it dress dirty, sit here, have manners, behave. I think somehow that gets carried on into life later on where we're not as bold, but I we don't have I the same expectations put on us as men But do. I disagree with, with that nice girls don't get the corner office premise because I shouldn't have to change myself to earn but that was just a title a place it wasn't the, indicative the of the content of the book i understand but you but you're saying that you know we have been preconditioned to be somewhat more you know submissive absolutely i saw a and ceo true story a ceo when people came for the meeting she was the one who went and got drinks i'm like i'm sorry what is but happening see, here I get you have to be courteous and nice, but she's but also, the boss. But, but well, my problem well, well, is... You, if, already, you already put yourself in But if I'm naturally a, a courteous and nice person... Do you see a why, man waking up to go and get drinks for but, everybody? But why, why are those two things mutually exclusive? Why can't I be a courteous and nice person, but also powerful, also strong, also Because the also world respected. doesn't have time to see you as two things. They either see you as powerful or a doormat. Does it have time to see men as two things? No, Can powerful no. men be nice? Can powerful but men powerful be men, humble and well, kind well, that's and courteous? Interesting because I believe powerful men who are nice are also not accorded as much respect as powerful men who that's perhaps... That's not true. But that's just the reality of many, life. Many, many powerful men but we're not have here been to recorded. discuss what's right or wrong. We're here to discuss what is true. Yes, what but factual. what I'm saying is, is factual is that men are not given that same burden of, of you must be this. Yes, we have the idea of an alpha male, mm. which, you know, is is not necessarily kind or gentle or sensitive mm -hmm. but i still think forcing women to change the way they are mm -hmm. or the way they want to be it's just like saying to women you must have a successful career you can't choose to be a housewife okay because then I, you're not I an hear, empowered I hear what woman you're saying and i agree with you that you mustn't change who you are however i believe that having a good understanding of how you are perceived in the world is empowering you not making you change who you are what do i mean by this now consciously if i go into a meeting if I know that I have to speak up to be heard, then I will speak up so that I'm heard. If I know that I have to have my ideas crystallized, even more than the average man, for me to get my point across, then I'll make sure that I do my homework, that I come across as intelligent and smart. A man who is bumbling and not making any sense will be listened to more than a woman who's making sense. So if you know this, why put yourself at a disadvantage? I think why, why walk into the room and say, oh, because I'm a woman, I, I'm not But I think... I yes, maybe the truth is we need to change who we are to a certain extent to get what we need. But I and that's think not necessarily a bad thing. That's the battle, it's not the war, yeah? 
I think we can win that battle and that's fine. It's a short term fix, but in the end we need to be focused on the war. Women who wanted to vote did not fight for a right to dress up as men so that they could enter poll booths. They fought for women to be recognized as right-thinking individuals who can vote. And I think that's what we need to fight for. Yes, in the short term, we can say we are going to work on being as aggressive, on getting our voices heard. But I think the long-term battle is about making sure that any woman, mm. no matter whether you're soft-spoken, whether you're loud, whether you're aggressive, whether you're humble, you will be accorded a blank slate, True. just like a man would. There's a subtle difference between what you and I are saying. The problem is what you're saying and what I'm saying are very close together. So it's a bit hard to pull them up part but let me also make you understand that what I'm trying to tell you is that women as they are today are not who we're meant to be it is, we were not we, we, you, when you are socially conditioned to be a certain way that's not but who who's you to are. say what if some of our are meant to that's okay if you're, if, you, if you're happy being where you are not saying change who you are but this woman wrote to you in pain because she's being she's being looked at as less but the now, problem was not to her, her the problem was the men in the room so why are we fixing her let's fix the men that's in the, the world room we live in we live in a sexist world now, Nancy is uh, like why saying, just accept that no wait 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 and say let's change wait, ourselves just a second it's like you're saying change the world yes but you know that's gonna take ages it's probably not going to happen so it is not smart to want to change the world if you want to win the game understand how the game is played understand the playing field and then go in there and play the game and win it is not changing it's yourself. still their no, game no, no. it is yes because funny enough the world is set up to be a man's game can we please recognize so that? So why are we accepting that? Because what else are we going to do? We're going to it's get like, out of that game and like, start our own. That's like why women a, whoa, are whoa, whoa, starting whoa, whoa, businesses, hold up, hold up. doing their own thing. It's things. like saying you walked into a world and the sun is shining and you're saying, Sun, stop shining. You wait, now. Hello, the sun is not going to stop shining. And now you're get, really... Get you're, an umbrella. Oh, okay, okay, sweetie, sweetie, take a <laughs> breath. <laughs> no, come on. No. You cannot be saying these things. No, you no, understand no. what I'm saying. Like, no, you, you, if you cannot change... You have extra if you cannot, if, that if you to cannot, ridiculousness. If you cannot change the situation, change how you view and how you handle the situation. Now I'm saying. Now that to me is I'm empowering. Saying, it's not changing who you are. Okay. It's just understanding how things work and being smart. Okay. About it. But I'm saying that's fine in the short term. But there needs to be two strategies. Then there we can agree. Okay. Yes. So she can do this in the short, in the short term, term. Like but figure out term, how to make her voice. Let's all women come together and fight that battle. And also, she might battle. have to consider in the long term finding a space where she is regarded. Absolutely. as an equal whether that means starting her own business Absolutely. or doing something because no one is going to give us anything we have to take it oh there we're on the same page finally <laughs> that was heated if you want more discussions click subscribe and please leave your comment in the comment section do you agree with anything you've heard today do you want Nancy to expound more on these kind of neo-Nazi tendencies. <laughs> I don't even know. But anyway, let us know. Um, we'll chat with you next time. On This was a violent video. We might have to put a warning. Yeah. Yeah, graphic content. Do not watch with your children. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Till next time, this is Black Working Mother.